Welcome back to the world of heavy industry, where fire, steel, and precision meet human ingenuity. In today's journey, we'll follow the making of massive anchor chains, powerful coiled springs, and high-strength steel products that form the backbone of modern engineering. Few sites capture the raw power of heavy industry quite like the making of an anchor chain, a symbol of endurance, strength, and trust in the unforgiving world of the sea. The process begins with massive steel rods, each one several inches thick, stacked beside roaring furnaces that glow a deep orange. Workers feed these bars into the heat until the metal softens, glowing like molten fire. It's at this stage that craftsmanship takes command. Hydraulic hammers descend with thunderous force, bending the heated steel into precise U-shaped curves. Each glowing link is quickly interlocked with the previous one while still red hot, forming a continuous chain link by link through a rhythm that feels almost alive. The air vibrates with the hum of machinery, the hiss of cooling steam, and the deep metallic echoes that mark each strike. Once shaped, the ends of each link are joined using flash welding, a process that fuses the steel at extremely high temperatures and pressure. Sparks burst in brilliant showers, sealing the joint into one solid piece. The weld is then ground smooth, leaving no visible seam, and the chain moves down the line for inspection. Every link is measured, tested, and weighed with unrelenting precision. The steel structure must be perfect, free from voids or cracks, because these chains often hold the anchors of massive vessels that face crushing waves and fierce ocean winds. Quality control engineers test individual sections under enormous tension, ensuring that each link can withstand loads of hundreds of tons without stretching or breaking. Behind the fire and machinery lies a legacy of craftsmanship honed over centuries. Today's processes may be automated, but the principles remain the same. Precision, strength, and reliability. Watching these colossal iron links take shape is more than seeing metal being formed. It's witnessing human ingenuity transformed into something that literally holds the world's ships in place. Each chain forged here represents not just steel, but trust, built link by link through fire, force, and skill. From the roaring furnaces of the anchor chain workshop, we move into another world of forged steel the creation of massive industrial springs. Here, the process begins with thick steel bars, straight and rigid, carefully measured and cut to length. Each bar is slowly heated inside a rotary furnace until it reaches a blazing orange-yellow hue, soft enough to bend, yet strong enough to retain its core integrity. As the glowing rod emerges from the furnace, it's immediately guided into a coiling machine. The operator works with steady precision, controlling feed speed, temperature, and rotation. The machine grips the hot steel and wraps it around a large mandrel, turn after turn, forming perfect spirals. Every movement must be exact. A single deviation in temperature or tension could throw off the spring's uniformity or reduce its resilience under pressure. Once coiled, the red-hot spring is transferred to a cooling station where it's quenched in controlled stages to lock in its shape and internal strength. After cooling, the spring undergoes a tempering process, reheated at lower temperatures to relieve internal stresses and enhance elasticity. To ensure durability, many springs are shot peened, bombarded with tiny steel pellets that harden the surface and prevent micro-cracks. The result is a spring that can compress expand and rebound thousands of times without losing form. These heavy-duty coils find their place in powerful machines, from railway systems to industrial presses and mining trucks. Despite their size, they embody the perfect balance between strength and flexibility, proof that even in the world of steel, true resilience is born through heat, precision, and patience. Inside the production line, a massive automated chain machine operates with flawless rhythm. Steel wire feeds continuously into the system, bending, cutting, and linking each piece in perfect sequence. Servo-driven arms shape glowing metal into interlocking loops, 
while induction heaters fuse every joint into a single, solid bond. Sensors monitor alignment and tension, ensuring each link meets exact standards. The result is a stream of uniform, high-strength chain links flowing effortlessly from the machine, a remarkable blend of power, precision, and engineering control that defines the heart of modern heavy manufacturing. From the chain workshops, we move deeper into the heart of steelmaking, where raw metal is transformed into the essential materials that hold our cities, bridges, and highways together. Inside a massive rolling plant, the air shimmers with heat. At one end, solid steel billets, each weighing several tons, are fed into a long tunnel furnace. Temperatures rise above 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, softening the metal until it glows a brilliant yellow-white. The red-hot billets emerge and travel swiftly along a guided conveyor to the rolling stands, powerful machines lined with heavy rollers that shape the steel under enormous pressure. As the billet passes through the first stand, it begins to elongate, thinning with each rotation. Sparks fly in every direction, the sound of steel meeting steel echoing through the factory like thunder. The process is continuous, fast, and perfectly timed. Each set of rollers is precisely calibrated. In the early stages, they break the billet into a rough shape. Then, through successive passes, the metal takes its final form, either rebar or wire rod, depending on the rolling line setup. For rebar, the rollers are grooved, imprinting the ribbed surface that allows concrete to grip and hold. For wire rod, the steel becomes a long, smooth strand, coiled at the end of the process into giant loops, ready for further drawing or shaping. Temperature control is everything. As the steel races through the mill, sensors monitor its heat and thickness hundreds of times per second. Automated systems adjust roller pressure and speed to maintain consistency. Once formed, the glowing product moves onto a cooling bed, where powerful fans and water sprays bring the temperature down gradually, preventing internal stress or cracking. The finished bars and coils then undergo testing. Technicians measure diameter, surface finish, and chemical composition. Samples are stretched until they break, verifying tensile strength and flexibility. Every batch must meet strict industrial standards before it can be approved for use in construction or manufacturing. What's truly impressive is the efficiency of these modern rolling mills. Waste heat from furnaces is recycled to generate steam and electricity, while cooling water is cleaned and reused through closed-loop systems. Nothing is wasted. Every ounce of energy is directed toward precision and sustainability. Watching the process, it's easy to see the beauty hidden inside this brutal environment. The harmony between machinery, fire, and human control. Behind the noise and speed lies an extraordinary level of coordination. Dozens of operators, engineers, and technicians work together monitoring gauges, adjusting flows, and ensuring the final product meets exact specifications. The final process brings us to roller chains, critical components that quietly power countless machines around the world. The journey begins with steel wire and sheet stock, cut and pressed into pins, plates, bushings, and rollers. Every part must fit together within microscopic tolerances to ensure smooth motion. Heat treatment hardens the metal, giving it the resilience to endure millions of rotations. During assembly, hydraulic presses align each pin and plate with absolute precision. It's a methodical, almost surgical process. One mistake could cause friction, uneven wear, or failure under load. After assembly, the chain is lubricated and tested under continuous operation. It's stretched, twisted, and cycled thousands of times to verify endurance. Only chains that maintain uniform motion without deformation are approved for use. Roller chains serve in an incredible range of applications, 
from conveyors and factories to power transmissions in vehicles and farm machinery. They operate quietly, yet they're essential to nearly every industrial system that moves or lifts. What's fascinating is how a simple design, interlocking steel links rotating over sprockets, remains virtually unchanged for decades. It's a perfect combination of simplicity, durability, and mechanical elegance. Watching a roller chain in action reminds us how even the smallest engineered parts can drive the largest machines, connecting power, motion, and progress across the modern world. From glowing steel to precision engineering, Every process you've seen reflects the strength and skill behind our industrial world. If you enjoyed this journey through the power of modern manufacturing, don't forget to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe for more stories of craftsmanship and innovation in motion.